Hey there folks, got a new knife for you. So this is a recent score that I got through Instagram. The maker is JRP Custom Knives. Uh, Jared Price is the name of the maker. The first time I met Jared was in Blade Show of this year, uh, which was a pleasant surprise because he was actually a fan of Wieners and Steel. Blows my mind every time somebody is a fan of the show, which is awesome, especially especially when it's an amazing knife maker such as Jared. So Jared had this on his Instagram. He gave ample announcements regarding it, saying that it was going to go up on, it wasn't a lottery, it was a first DM. First DM gets it. He gave the price, it was eight fifty, and what he said was the first, the first video he shows of this, first DM gets it. And... I did. I stalked and I uh, had the, uh, you know, you could set the um, notifications on the maker. I did that. And yeah, I totally geeked out. I kept refreshing. I wanted it so bad. I wanted this knife so bad. So this one is his Kingfisher variant, which is a Tonto blade. I'll show you guys that. One of my favorite shapes and uh, blade styles. Definitely the Tonto. You can see there Jared's logo, JRP. Now, what's cool about this knife is that it's got this unique... And I, I, know, I know you guys have seen a lot of bolsters done this way. <clears throat> uh, basically, it's an onlay of G10, green G10, which is like my favorite color. reminds me a lot of my birch. And I love the natural pattern that you get from the G10 that you can see right there. And it's also an onlay of a titanium bolster. So it's not one piece of titanium that was milled out. It's You can see there it's an onlay of another titanium piece that Jared um, hand crafted to make the, the beautiful bolster with this shape that melts in with the green G10. Now I'll talk about that a little bit more later, but let's just check out the uh, the knife itself. So it's got this beautiful tanto shape blade. The steel is CTS XHP. It's got a nice dark tumble on the blade. It's got a swedge, just gorgeous, and a thumb hole deployment. No jimping on the spinal blade. Elegant. Actually, I just ordered myself a sharp by. Um, is it sharp by design? <laughs> sharp by design, um, my, and I ordered. I opted not to get the jimping. Also, uh, Brian Ado. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. I like that the it's got this choil which locks in your fingers. So I don't think really. Eh, some guys might dispute that, but I don't feel that the jimping is necessary. It just makes for a nicer. Elegant knife. It does have a floating backspacer, which is Zerk. You can see there are the screws that lies behind the Zerk that gives it that floating effect. Follows it up with a beautiful Zerk pocket clip. Now, the Zerk pocket clip has. Like some, it looks like an orange peel, but there's a pretty unique pattern to it. I don't know exactly how Jared does that, but it's it's sexy. It's a bent clip, but it's a generous amount of Zerk. He also puts some Zerk pivot collars on the pivots. You see there on both sides. Just really sexy. So... When I met Jared for the first time at Blade Show, i going to be honest, folks, I never heard of him. And this gentleman, I don't know if I'm just not as well studied with my makers, but oh my God, when I saw his work at Blade Show, I was blown away. Blown away by the beautiful craftsmanship. Just incredible. The, the detail. Just really sick. I mean, I mean, I hope I can show you the centering on this. The centering is perfect. Now, 
there is something to be said about a f- fully handmade custom knife. Now, in this day and age of everything CNC'd or sent out to a uh, machinist to cut out your blades, I like that Jared still takes the time to put that human quality to his work. And that's what I'm going to talk about. His, this is uh, this bolster work that he did this that he uh, performed here. Now, what he used to do this is a pantograph. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what a pantograph is, you might, when you were little, had like a little tool that you you used to trace a drawing, and then and there was a, a, the pencil would be here, the tool would be here, and it was kind of shaped like a parallelogram, if you guys remember. You would trace the drawing, and on this side, it will copy the image that you are... Uh, drawing so that's kind of like what a pantograph is some people do it use it to put like their signature on the blade now what Jared used is a tremendous size <laughs> pantograph humongous and it's linked in a way so that the movement on one side produces an identical image on the other so what Jared had he had to create uh, a mold of the shape he wanted now the mold is huge it's a big mold if you can imagine the shape of this actually the shape of this right he had to create the huge mold and he would trace it with the pantograph and on the other side on the other side of the pantograph was an end mill that would pass and basically cut this image so it was if you can imagine it it was larger mold on this side and it was cutting this shape this small shape on the other side. So Jared was basically tracing it out on this side, pass, 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 and the end mill would start cutting the shape of the bolster or the G10. Now it's, I'm sure it's a very tedious process and each pass of the end mill he had to manually lower it to cut deeper. Um, it sounds like it's very time consuming. I don't know how long it took him to do it, but yeah, that's what you get with a custom knife, folks. You get that blood and sweat. And there's something to be said about that when a maker puts in that kind of time and that kind of effort and love into his work. And yeah, and I'm just really proud to own this knife that Jared make made. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Really beautiful. There really is something to be said. I only know if you... Personal friends of mine, knife makers that do that, Robert Carter is one, Ramon Chavez. Um, yeah, this I'm sure I'm missing some other people, but Edison, Sharknico, his brother, um, Victor. These people do it all by hand. Uh, now, I'm not saying they're not using tools. They're using tools, but they're guiding it with their hands. There's no CNC involved. And it's just uh, impressive, impressive. You can look at that bolster. It's almost, almost seamless when the G10 and the titanium meets. That's incredible. That's incredible work. Incredible detail on that. Yeah. Truly impressive. Truly impressive. I am. Press. Let's give you some nice macros on the blade. Detent is perfect. Very nice. Not too strong, not too light. I love that I can middle flick it or open it with my thumb. Just really gorgeous. That is sexy. All right, folks, so that's the Kingfisher variant from Jared Price, JRP Custom Knives. I'll put the link below. All right, folks, peace.